while talking with uh, Dr. Doino Cooper, I was just wondering, <clears throat> he said something about square peg and square holes and all that. I remember one time when I talked about uh, square peg and square holes with my son, a very young one, and he asked me, what of pizza? Pizza is always round in a, a box that is <laughs> square. So I didn't know how to answer him that. What would you answer him? Uh, think that you know it depends on the situation mm -hmm. and the time uh pizza fits perfectly in a square box <laughs> okay and you know seeing uh what pizza is made for you wouldn't really judge it for being in a square box ah uh, i knew you would have a perfect answer for that <laughs> it's pizza by the way <laughs> okay well uh we've been joined by um the one who was missing in action we're talking about uh, bio it's it's uh, it's very good to finally have you here. Where you did Lagos happen to you? Lagos happened to me. So I sincere apologies to Uche and yourself, and then of course to our esteemed viewers. Um, I'm integrating slowly, and I'm learning a few <laughs> lessons along the way. But I'm determined, you know. So I'm not going to let that get to me. Um, I, I also enjoyed uh, listening to uh, Dr. Donyo Kupe. And then your analogy of the, of, of the analogy given by your son is quite apt, you know. But but I think uh, and I agree with Uche. Yeah? <laughs> I think what is most important is um, as long as it works, yeah. Yes. The, as as long as it fits and it works, I think that's the whole essence of yes. uh, having you know either a square peg in a square hole or a, a, round, a, round, a round peg in a round <laughs> hole or even the pizza in a square box. Okay. Know? <clears throat> yeah, so, um, well, we still have a little more for you before we wrap up the show, so I'm, I'm sure we're going to be calling our next guest, uh, who uh, happens uh, to be joining us from Abuja. Maybe from, you'll give us an insight. To yeah, of to who, who the guest is. Yes. I'm sure our viewers as well are quite uh, expectant. Uh, now, from Kogi to Lagos, uh, from Bank Security Guard to a national figure, that's the abridged story of our next guest. His name is Ogbanago Ibrahim. Welcome, Ogbanago. I hope you can hear us. You won an award for an act done a few years back. When and how exactly did it happen? Ibrahim, are you, are you there? Can you hear us? Okay, before he joins us, maybe we should still, um, some of the... Um the issues that Dr. Doyin Okupe raised, mm -hmm. you know, they talked, we talked about uh, uh, Muslim Muslim ticket, the spread of the party. We didn't even talk about the manifesto and all that. But what was, what were your takes, various takes from all the things that he said? Um, quite frankly, I, I, I thought he was being quite forthright. Um, for example, in talking about what the Labour Party was before they joined. The, the group, the Peter Obi group and himself, um, the, the antecedents of the party, its you know, conduct in previous elections, and what the Obi phenomenon has brought to that party today. Um, I, I didn't see him talking as a typical politician there, because I saw him actually admitting certain things. Uh, and that's why I said I, I considered him to have been forthright. I was making notes as he spoke. Um, and and I, I think perhaps maybe that's not a surprise, you know, knowing who Don Yokupe himself uh, is, uh, considering, and you rightfully gave us a background of his career in politics, you know, to date. So um, I, 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 I think it's interesting to hear uh, the perspectives, you know, okay. of his candidate and All right. the party. I, I think Obonago has joined us now. Can you hear us, uh, Obonago? Hello, good morning and welcome to... Hello, good morning. Yeah. How is Abuja today? Fine, thank God. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. God bless you. Yeah. So, thank you for joining us, uh, Ibrahim. If I can... Which is your surname? Is it Ibrahim, Ibrahim. or Obonago? <laughs> Ibrahim. Ogbanago Mohammed Ibrahim. Okay. Okay. So, how? What would you like us to call you, Ogbanago or Mohammed? Yes. Yeah. You can call it together, Ogbanago Mohammed Ibrahim. Okay. I prefer <laughs> it okay. Anyway, so I prefer Ob it together. Together. Okay. okay. Ogbanago Mohammed Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. You won an award 
for an act done a few years back, okay? Can you just tell us how that happened? What exactly was all this about that resulted in you now being given an award? Thank you. Uh, good morning to everyone in the studio. Good morning, morning Nigerians. Uh, like I said earlier, my name is Ogba Nago Mohamed Ibrahim. At the time, I was a security with the United Bank for Africa, UBA, at Ikeja branch, or Bakran in Ikeja. So on this fateful day, I was on my uh, duty post where I found a lost $10,000 at the gate. And when I picked it, I, I went to the office and I sat a little. And like you know, I, as a security person, so a lot of thoughts uh, came on me. And I said, okay, I am one person that I've been talking about uh, good governance, about uh, uprightness and all that. So I stood up immediately and returned the money back to the uh, bank manager, the bank operation manager then. Uh, Mrs. Ojule is her name. And she was surprised and said, uh, Ogbanago, this is money. Where do you pick it from? I said, from the gate, man. And she said, do you know this is money? I said, yes, man. And she was wondering, you know. I, and she now said, okay, drop it and go. I dropped it and I went outside, back to my duty post. So in a short while, I, I saw a man coming from a Kedja on that bridge and he was crying and approaching me and said, uh, my brother, I lost money, but uh, I don't know where me I lost the money. In, in the man's uh, uh, voice now I am speaking, mm. you know. I said, okay, try and go inside the banking hall. Maybe you go and ask. You know, when he was going, I was laughing. So he went there, and when he was crying, and he told them that so so money, lost so so money, that actually that he collected the same money from here. That he actually collected $84,000 from the bank. So it was when he was going that $10,000 lost out of it. And when they told him that one of their security person here picked it and returned it. He fainted immediately in the banking hall, you know. And uh, that was how it is. So a mail was now sent to a UBA headquarter at Marina. And Tony Elumelu got to know about it. And they were so happy. Everybody were so happy. Tony who invited me at the time in 2016, you know, and he celebrated me at... Uh, in a, a co-hotel then. So that's how it is. Okay. And uh, today, um, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria now found me worthy to bestow on me a national uh, honor. That was on the 11th of this month. For that you background. Know. Thank you for that background. Now, as a security guard in a bank, Many people would actually want to know how much you were earning at the time you picked and returned those $10,000, which is about 7 million naira now. How much were you earning then? It was 30,000 naira. A month? Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's really a man of integrity. But, but one, one thing is this. That was not the first time anyway. And I think that's why a bank now said uh, that uh, it's like he's getting uh, uh, too much. I have picked 100,000 naira from the uh, restroom in the bank and returned it same. Same was 50,000 naira. I returned it, but I picked it from, that was uh, somewhere close to uh, a counter, somewhere there. I returned it. So it was not the first one anyway, you know. Okay, okay. Now, um, mm. what, what did it feel like being given a national honor by the president? I'm sure your family, your friends have all been uh, congratulating you. What is it like being the recipient of a national award? I am fulfilled. 
And I will tell you one uh, truth here. Since that award, whenever I am hungry and there is food before me, it, I, I will find it difficult to even eat that food. And that's the fact. Why would, why would that I am so... <laughs> I, I am so happy that sometimes I, I, I feel I don't just know. And that's the fact. That's the truth about it. So I am so happy. I am so happy. With the level of calls, messages coming from left, front, right, and center, even across the world, from other countries of the world, people are calling me and they are celebrating me. I think it's a joy. And I thank God for that, really. Okay, Obanago, I wish we had more time to talk with you, but uh, we're hoping that one day we'll have you live in the studio here where we can ask you more questions and then, you know, have a sense of belonging, as, as they say in Nigeria. We are talking with a national awards winner and all that. So thank you for being who you are, and we're hoping that you're going to encourage other Nigerians to do the same. Uh, thank you so much for thank being a part of the show. Thank you very kindly. I'm most grateful. Okay. Okay, that was uh, Ogbanago Ibrahim. Ogbanago Mohammed Ibrahim, he said we should use the three All names, the names. To, together. <laughs> uh, like uh, Fashola said the other time, that may, may our loyalty not be tested. Mm. May, may I, even as a person, never get into that situation. I don't know if I will behave like Ogbanago or not. Mm. 30,000 naira, and then you're, you're picking something of 7 million. I wonder how many years of his salary that could have covered, but he still did the needful and returned it to uh, the appropriate courses. You know, it goes to show that uh, no matter how how terrible Nigeria as a people, Nigerians as a people have been painted, you know, negative uh, out there in the world, uh, there are still the really good eggs mm. in our midst, and we just need to harness them and you know make them believe that there is honor mm. in being you know accountable. There is there is you know kind of. Um, you, you get to earn what befits you for being... Because mm. you, when you hear a lot of young persons speak, I mean, when this happened in 2016, I guess, yeah. a lot of people were of the opinion that hmm, he returned... The yeah, <laughs> I, I, I you choose, well. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> people actually took him for a fool. But, I mean, look at him today. Look at where he is. Yeah. Uh, from that moment, he ceased being a security guard. The honor was great, and some things came to him, uh, and then his life changed for the better. Mm -hmm. Well, and he was younger than this, 2016. At the time, yeah, yes. Younger, he's below 40 even now. Mm -hmm. And at that time, he was quite young. That means so, people like he, she said, are still good in this country. There was another one uh, at the airport, mm -hmm. who picked like $12,200 and returned same. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's good. I mean, like Uche said, um, we have Nigerians uh, who, whose conduct, you know, has been symbolized by what um, uh, Obanago Mohammed Ibrahim has done and, and the person who returned the $12,200. And I think that it will serve to encourage more uh, people, to be honest. He did that. He can sleep. He's, he's, more, you know, he's, uh, he's more relaxed. Yes. If he's taking what didn't belong to him, he wouldn't be at peace. He wouldn't be at peace. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just take a short break, very short break, and then uh, see if we can get our next guest to just wrap it up. That will be like three minutes and all that, and then the show will be up.